What is going on guys? Mariah here for the Aesthetics. Today is Monday. By the time you're watching this, it's probably already the weekend. And um, this weekend I got a FIBO Power Expo coming up, which is a fitness expo in Germany. And um, that's one of the reasons why I'm cutting body fat at the moment. Um, but today my diet is gonna be a little bit different, so I wanna take you guys through it. I'm gonna have a reefy day today. Uh, main reason is, you know, last couple of days I've been noticing a lot more hunger. Um, and that happens when you're in a caloric deficit, your leptin levels drop. So in order to raise those, you do a reefy day. A lot of people do a cheat day instead, but the best benefits of a refeed is that you eat a lot of carbohydrates instead of just eating whatever you want because the carbohydrates will have a positive effect on your leptin levels they will raise the leptin levels they will also replenish glycogen and next to that if you focus on eating a lot of carbs and keeping the fats very low on a refi day um, there is pretty much zero chance that anything will be stored as fat um, so that is why you can get away with eating pretty high calories while actually having the benefit of burning more fat so that's why i love refi days but to be honest i usually do cheat days pretty often um, because the reefy days are pretty boring, right? Because you're not allowed to eat a lot of fats. So all those nice donuts and shit and you know, dirty foods that you want to have, you cannot have. So that's one of the drawbacks of a reefy day. But the reason I'm doing a reefy day especially is because I have the FIBO Expo this weekend, which is already in a couple days. So I won't, don't want to go full blown out on this cheat day today because I know that in the weekend I'm probably going to cheat as well. Um, so this is just to kind of like hold me over because I've been noticing the last couple of days, energy levels have been dropping, a lot more hungry. Last night I almost went into a binging phase, but the great thing is that I live on my own here. So um, I checked the fridge and everything, but there weren't any dirty food. So I, I literally tried check every single drawer here for like food. And when I went back home, there would always be food, but um, I was simply not able to binge because the grocery stores were closed as well. So that was freaking awesome. But um, therefore, you know, this morning I woke up and I knew I had to do this refi day today. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep it very controlled and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do. So let's get it started. So I pretty much just laid everything out here. These are the foods I'm gonna deal with today. First of all, some bread. I've been craving this like crazy. Probably the most to be honest, because when I started this cut about three weeks ago, I haven't had any bread ever since. So that's something I'm definitely gonna enjoy. Um, some whole wheat crackers. This one's pretty good, low in fat. 20 grams of fiber, only two grams of fat for 100 grams. 60 grams of carbs, perfect for refeed. Um, white potatoes, obviously. This one has some uh, free spice, but it only has 0.4 grams of fat for 100 grams, so it doesn't add any fats. You always wanna kinda like double check, cause you have a lot of these uh, potatoes with like garlic and garlic sauce and shit like that, and they'll add a lot of fats, right? So always double check. Got some fruits, uh, probably gonna put this on some pancakes, definitely gonna make pancakes today. Reefy day, always pancakes, all right? That's the thing. Um, some gingerbread, you know, obviously also high in carbs. Low in fats and very high in fiber, this one. This one also has zero added sugar, so I also prefer to go for this one instead of the regular one. Bananas, just regular fruits, apples. Um, got some mixed vegetables here because I still want to get my vegetable intake in. Um, some almond milk because I'm definitely going to need this today. Cereal, oats, pancakes, I don't know. So definitely going to need it. Um, some scare. May have this at night depending on how much protein I've hit. On a reefy day, you want to keep your protein just the same as normal or even a little bit lower because carbs are protein sparing. So you can actually get away with a little bit of a lower protein intake. So I'm shooting for at least 140 grams of protein today. But for me, that's always pretty easy to hit to be honest. Because I'm definitely going to have some chicken. Also picked up some steak. So I'm going to have that as well with the potatoes. I love that shit. And then, um, yeah, I got some uh, turkey filet here, which I may use with the bread. Uh, yeah, next to that, some more oats, because I almost ran out, and I'm definitely gonna have a bunch of oats today. Easy carb source, low in fat. Cruzly, this is freaking good, all right? This is kinda like a crunchy one. Very low in fats, this particular one, because it has like five grams of fat for 100 grams. That's a pretty solid option. 70 grams of carbs and nine grams of protein and 12 grams of fiber. But I usually don't eat this in my regular diet because I know I overeat on this pretty, pretty rapidly, all right? Because it's so freaking good. So I can literally eat this whole box if I wanted to. But um, this is also gonna be my first meal, I suppose. I'm gonna put everything in the fridge and then uh, I'm gonna have this for sure. All right, so I got the first meal here, and I gotta say, like, I haven't had any cereal in a while. You know, I've been rolling with oats pretty much only, because like I said, cereal don't doesn't fill me up that well. But today is the reefy day, obviously, so we're gonna freaking enjoy, man. This looks hella good. Got a banana in there as well. Add some, you know, extra fruits, extra carbs. Um, during a reefy day, you do want to keep your sugar intake fairly low because they don't have the added benefits that complex carbs do. But on the beginning of the day, I recommend having most of your sugar intake if you want to have some sugar intake on the reefy day, which you probably want to. Um, so definitely going to enjoy. By now, it is actually 
almost one o'clock so i have been fasting this morning just like i would normally do because fasting kind of is my lifestyle i'm just used to it um but right now i'm freaking starving i can tell you guys that so i'm gonna enjoy it. so i pretty much killed this bull in like two minutes like honestly so i'm hungry as shit right i'm still hungry it didn't fill me up so i'm also gonna have like one piece of whole wheat bread and then i got some turkey filet on here so i'm gonna have this right now as well so i can tell you guys like this is why i'm doing a refi day today because I knew I could postpone it a couple days, but the chances of me binging would have been very high because I'm getting really, really hungry, you know? And um, that's what happens in the cutting phase. So you gotta refeed on a regular. And this also depends on how lean you are, how lean you start off with, how much you weigh, etc. It depends on a lot of factors, but I know that I personally do very well on refeed and cheat days. And for me, it's usually like once a week is pretty much perfect. But uh, right now I haven't had any refeed or cheat for about one and a half weeks. One and a half weeks ago, I did actually fuck off, so I had a cheat day, which was unplanned, all right? Um, basically just binging. So um, that's pretty shitty, but that's what happens. It also happens to me. It happens to a lot of people. Um, so that's why you wanna have these structured days that you plan in, because that's always better to prevent it. All right, so we done. Major freaking food porn alert. This looks absolutely mouth-watering. So I'm um, gonna smash this. Then actually hit the gym in about an hour from now, so this is the pre-workout meal. <coughs> oh, that almost got me crying, man. So this meal's pretty high in carbs. Added the fruits, which obviously makes it a lot more food porn, which is uh, the main reason, actually. Also makes it taste a little bit better, but the main reason is it's more Instagrammable and Snapchatable. So I did all that stuff, and right now it's time to eat. So smash those pancakes, truly amazing stuff. But again, I was still hungry, so I'm uh, gonna have the other part of this whole wheat bread uh, with some uh, turkey on there. And that's it, let's hit the gym. All right guys, so we hit the gym, hitting a leg day, which is pretty perfect. Ideal, because we're having this reefy day, so we had a lot of calories already. I'm gonna put that to use for a leg day, because on leg day, I obviously burn the most amount of calories. And um, it's gonna be a tough work, I'm uh, starting off with some front squats. Haven't done these in a while. 90 kgs first, let's see how we do. sets there 90 kg a reps i really feel like doing one heavy set man i got all these freaking carbs with me today so i gotta freaking try it out so i'm gonna do a pr on the front squats actually haven't done front squats in a freaking while but 100 kg i don't know how many reps what do you say like three five uh, three to four something like that let's see let's get it Yeah. Right, so I finished those front squats there. We did four sets in total. Um, so I actually, like, I did that 100 kg. I wanted to do it for one set, but the set didn't properly film. The camera was somehow shut off, so we didn't get the footage. And then I had to do it again, because, like, I can't leave you guys with nothing. Like, my word, you guys will not never believe me. Like, I have to have video footage, so. I did it for five reps, second set as well, which was a little bit harder. First set was pretty okay, but in total four sets. Right now, I'm still leg at that lift, which is the second compound. And um, this is basically the, the basis of our workout. The squats, deadlifts for the hamstrings, we did quads on the squats, and then we do one more isolation for the hams, as well as for the quads. That's the workout, and we do cats as well.
<laughs> what? We keep on trying. So like I said, I was starving, so I wanted something quick. So you guys know what I always do when I want something quick. Bowl of oats. I got this recipe up on my YouTube channel. It's called Chocolate Protein Oats, Student Aesthetics. Check it out. So I'm going to have this right now after I take a shower, get some work in. And then pretty shortly after, it's probably going to get a next meal because I'm hungry as hell. And um, I was looking so lean that right now I feel confident in just eating a lot of carbs today. So it's all good. All right, guys. So I was actually um, about to take a shower, but then I realized I didn't do cardio yet today. And um, I kind of made the appointment with myself to do cardio every single day during this cutting phase and I've pretty much been living up to that so today I'm not gonna skip it either. Alright so we got this next meal here in front of us so first of all 400 grams white potatoes some ketchup on the side for sure and then uh, next to that this beautiful freaking steak man it's about 140 grams and then um, 400 grams of veggies on the side so pretty damn amazing meal. Alright so right now it is 11:30. I'm about to have my last meal and I'm gonna finish off the day with exactly the same meal I have for the first meal because I just checked my macros. I'm gonna show you guys. Total macro so far is 170 protein. So I've hit my protein intake for today. Um, I hit about 40 grams of fat, which is a little bit higher than ideal. Actually, you wanna be like 20 to 30 grams of fat, which is pretty much impossible if you still wanna have some enjoyable meals. So um, that's all good. And I'm um, about 500 grams of carbs. So I definitely wanna get some more carbs in because I want to be around 600 grams of carbs. So first I thought about finishing off with the low fat yogurt, but that contains a lot of protein. And um, I've already hit my protein intake, 170 grams, which is totally cool. So I'm just gonna have the same meal as the first one because that was really high in carbs. All right, so here we go for the final meal. So I'm gonna wrap up this reefy day here. This will put me at about 34 to 3500 calories, which um, is a lot to be honest. But um, you know, when I saw how lean I was today, and I'm also like how flat I was this morning, I decided to have a proper refeed and I kept my fat so low, carbs very high, so that I can get the full benefit of the refeed day. So in that case, it's not that bad to go pretty high in calories, it's just listening to my body basically. I've been doing this shit for so long that I kind of like know right now how my body will respond. Um, one thing about a refeed day, tomorrow I will wake up a little bit heavier than usual, most likely. Sometimes you will actually drop fat after a refeed day, but that will only happen if you um, kept your sodium intake low. Today my sodium intake hasn't been that low, but it has been fairly low, you know? Usually I would do like sushi on my refeed, chi day, and then um, you will always wake up a lot heavier. So that's something you have to keep in mind, but that is a lot of water weight and glycogen stored into your body, and that will actually drop within the next couple days, so it's nothing to worry about, all right? It will drop, and afterwards we will start losing fat again. So a refeed day does really help with speeding up fat loss and basically making sure that you keep losing fat gradually over the weeks. With that said, I wanna wrap up this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.